It's Monday. Hello and welcome to Studio 3. I'm Angela Evans. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're starting our high school senior salute today and Mississippi Smart Homes is here. Plus, we are kicking off Women's Health Week with Living Better with Ann Better. But first, today is National Apple Pie Day, so of course we're going to make some apple pie. And the vanilla and Beth Hennington is here. So Beth, we usually see you with cookies. Yes, you do. You sure do. <laughs> but when I'm not baking cookies, I, I, I can bake the occasional apple pie. Oh, uh, well, good, because yeah. it's apple pie day. <laughs> perfect day to make apple pie, exactly. right? Exactly. And you look like you're a pro at it. Girl, well, let's not go crazy. But <laughs> let's, so, let's do so crazy with <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> okay, okay. So what I've done is I've already kind of started. Um, I take seven apples, and I like to use different apples. Okay. Some people use the same, but I want to get a, a different, you know, not just the same flavor profile. Yeah. So I'm using Fuji apples, which is on the sweet end, and then I'm using a tart apple, which is a Granny Smith apple, and then we have a Honeycrisp apple, which is kind of in the middle. Okay. So I don't know if you know, let me give you a fun fact real quick, that okay. the first known typed recipe for ap apple pie, 1831 in England. Well, I did not know that. There you we got a history lesson today. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, history and apple pie. Exactly. Okay, so then what I do is so I peel all of the apples. I peel the skin off. Some people leave it on. I, I like it. Okay. So I peel those, um, slice up the apples, and I core them. A lot of people don't have an apple core just laying around. Yeah. So I've, the easy way to do it for me, and I'm going to show you real quick. Yeah, let's see it. Let's do it. Okay. Is we're going to take one of these apples and. We're going to make some room. <laughs> so really all I do after I wash it is just cut it down the middle. Uh -huh. And I use a teaspoon just out of your and drawer. everybody has one of those. That's right. And just literally. <laughs> well, that looks easy. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy, right? Yeah. So once you get all those sliced up nice and um, thin, because the thinner you slice them, it's not, it's not going to take as long for them to cook. Okay. We want them to cook. So I've put them all in here in, in a pot. You can use a skillet, but it's, it's a lot of them because I use about seven apples. And we want to cook them down with, um, I put a cup of sugar, red white sugar. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add, we added, um, I like to use vanilla bean paste. Do you use vanilla bean paste? I do not, but I probably should because you use it. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's like, um, I don't know, it's got the flex, the vanilla bean flex in it, and it's just, it tastes so much better. So I use some of that, and I just measure it with my heart, really, just a little, maybe <laughs> just a teaspoon. however much you feel like. Yeah, girl, just maybe a teaspoon or so. Um, <laughs> and then I use um, some cinnamon. Put you some cinnamon in there. Um, you could throw a little nutmeg or cardamom, whatever you're, whatever you're feeling. You measure those with your heart, too. Measure those, <laughs> measure those with your heart, too. So I cook that down, but you, if it, you don't want it to be too soupy. Right. Um, so you can use some cornstarch. Oh. Put a little cornstarch in there and let it sit. It will thicken up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So then what, we, what I do is in, because this is a skillet apple pie. I didn't, okay. I didn't say, reference that, but it is. But it's apple pie, so that means that, it's going to be great. That, that's <laughs> right. So in your skillet, you're going to melt a stick of butter, okay? Okay. And then you're going to add a cup of brown sugar. A whole cup. <laughs> a whole cup, girl. And then you're just going to smash it and... Because this is going to be actually formed like a brown sugar crust on the bottom. Yum. You can thank me later. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Because <laughs> one thing people don't get through television is how great this smells. I mean, it's this kitchen the, smells fantastic right it? now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so once we do this, then we are going to take. So I typically make a um, a homemade crust, but. This is TV, right? Yeah, well, time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. <laughs> so I have used a um, a pre pre rolled, pre refrigerated pie crust. Well, you know, if you're in a time Pillsbury crunch, knows what they're doing. Exactly. Just, just, we'll trust it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll trust it. So I want you to take that one, and we're just going to lay it in the bottom. And now be careful; this is very hot. Okay. So, so if this you have is going to be children or something too. Make sure that's, they know that's really hot. <laughs> that's right. And then just we're just going <laughs> to push it down in there, and along the sides. <laughs> Some butter's gonna come up. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Part of that pie goodness. Easy. Yeah. It is easy. I mean, this really looks. A lot of times, people think that apple pie is intimidating, but it's not. <laughs> so then I have. I do have a slotted spoon because I want any of this excess to fall off, and I'm just gonna fill the bottom of this pan with these yummy apples that are not uh -huh. gonna be crunchy when we bite into them. Okay. <laughs> so how long should you leave them on the stove? Okay, so typically it takes um, probably 
15 minutes to cook it down, but then you want to let it sit for a minute okay. just so that it um, it cools and the pectin and those apples can come together and it won't be yeah. just like a soup sandwich. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't want that with no, our apple no, pie. No, 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 no,